Okay, here we are for the last test of practical 5.2 properties of the elements, looking at the metals and the non-metals here. Um, and again, this time we are looking at the electrical conductivity. So we're going to be running a current through the samples. So I've got some uh, the power pack hooked up here on DC, positive and, and negative, and we're running that through this ammeter here. And it'll show us if there's any current being passed through the sample. I've just got a little bit of copper here just to illustrate how it works. And you can see that when I place the two electrodes on copper, we should see a current being passed through here. So I've got one, I've got another. Yes, you can see it going up there. So that's just, I'm just touching that on and it's going up, showing some current is passing through that sample of copper. Now again, we're going to be testing on our nine samples that we have here today. So first of all is our sulphur. So let's see if the sulphur has any current passing through it. So I'm going to touch it on there. No, I might even clip some on just to get a definite clip there. And no, nothing going through there at all. So again, that might suggest something about the nature of sulphur, nothing there. Let's see if we can get a current passing through the aluminium. I'm just going to fold it up so we have a little bit more grip. Put that one on there. And yes, we see we have some current being passed through on the aluminium sample there. All right, moving on to carbon now. Let's have a look. Carbon is the grubby one, of course. I'll put, try and get the clips on there. Clips on there, and nope, nothing there for the carbon. So no current being passed through the carbon. Let's try for the silicon sample. You might be able to predict as well what's going to happen. So I'll get one there and one there. Nothing for the silicon sample. Nothing on the ammeter there. I'll take that off. Come back. Here we go for the tin sample. Put one on there. Put one on there. And yes, we have some current again for the tin. Bit of a relationship perhaps between the appearance and the malleability, that's the bendability and its ability to carry current. Here we go for the sample of zinc. One there and one there. Yes, conducts electricity. We're getting some reading there on the ammeter. Take that off. Do the lead. Place one here, place one here, yes, and we get a reading for the lead as well. So yes, there's some current being passed through the lead. Next, magnesium. Pop one there, and pop one there, yes. Again, these shiny samples all seemingly carry electricity carry the current, and iron last of all. There we go, again we see some current coming through. So the last test, test five, and again you should be recording all of these into your workbooks or onto your tables on your computer about whether these samples, metals or non-metals, carry current. So we haven't told you what the metals and the non-metals are so far, that's something that you need to investigate, and perhaps you can see some, some similarities when you look that up in the periodic table between these groups of elements. So that's the last video. Hopefully you've entered all those results into your table. Thank you.